Hey guys, welcome back. Johnny here. In today's video, we're going to go over what's inside my Robin Hood stock portfolio. So grab a beer, just like I got here, and let's get started. Alright guys, so this is one of my favorite videos to do in my YouTube series. It's a lot of fun to go over my portfolio, and I know a lot of you are wondering what stocks I buy, what stocks I sell, and what stocks I just hold in general. So let's go ahead and get started with it. So right now, my portfolio is at $931. I am up $22 for the day, $28 for the week, or 3%, $51 for the month, or 5.79%, $13 for the three month, $15 for the one year, and overall I am up $467, or 100% since 2017. So, what do I have in my portfolio? Some of you might be wondering. Let's go ahead and go over it. So, these stocks are going to be from the lowest share price to the highest share price. I like to do it this way. Um, I could keep track of what stocks I have, as well as adding positions. If I have, say, uh, $50, I could buy anything from 50 and down. If I have $100, I could buy something from 100 and down. You know, if I'm going through different shares and buying them, then I only have, say, $10, $20. I know exactly what stocks to look at that I can buy. So they're all kind of in order in my own way. Um, also, I did add three new stocks since the last video I did on my channel and we'll show you exactly what three stocks those were. But to start off guys, we are in, uh, looking at IVR or Invesco Mortgage Capital. Now this stock is at $2.91 right now. I have five shares with an average cost of $2.68 and I have a total return right now of 8.58%. Not a bad company to get started with. It's a holding company which engages in investing, finances, and managing residential and commercial mortgage-backed securities and mortgage loans. Next up, I have Nordic American Tankers, or NAT. Now this company, I have five shares at an average cost of $4.71, and right now I have a total return of negative 6.58%. I like this company because they do pay a dividend, and I also heard from um, Financial Education Channel, Jeremy, talking about them increasing their dividend shortly. And if you don't know, they are basically um, an international tanker company. It owns and operates Suzmax crude oil tankers. Next up, we have CPRX, or Catalyst Pharmaceuticals. Right now, this share price is at $4.40. I have four shares at $4.43. Total return right now is negative 2.87% but I do expect them to bounce back a little bit. I have been buying shares for quite some time here on the history at $4 and even as low as, um, well, about $4 is what it looks like. Some of my lows right here, market sell March 9th, I sold it for 361, so it, it kind of fluctuates. And this is a biopharmaceutical company which engages in the development and commercialization of therapies for people with rare debilitating chronic neuromuscular and neurological diseases. Next up, we have Two Harbors, or TWO as the ticker symbol. The share price right now is at $4.90. I have one share at $4.34 average cost, and I am actually up 
just shy of 13%, which is pretty awesome for this little company. They do pay a dividend. They have positive earnings. And I've been in and out of this company for quite some time. I bought it January 18th for $14, sold it for a small loss, and now I'm back in for $4. So we're hoping to see some really big gains once the stock market goes up. Now this company is also a real estate investment trust, which focuses on investing in financing and managing agency residential mortgage backed securities. Next up, we have Yamaha or Yamana Gold, or A-U-Y. Now this company right now is at $5.12. I currently own eight shares at $5.10, which gives me a total return of 0.29%. Not quite even 1% right now. But they did start paying a dividend recently. They have a low PE ratio of 18, and I like them because they do have positive earnings per share. Now this is a Canadian based company which engages in the production of gold, silver and copper. But I do believe they sold their copper operation and are now just doing gold and silver. Do your own research on this company, but I've seen some really good gains from this all the way from $1.99 to five dollars it's pretty amazing next up we have whitestone reit or wsr this company right now is at six dollars and thirty seven cents average cost is five dollars and ninety seven cents and i have a total return of six point seven percent this company also pays a dividend a low PE ratio of just shy of 11. Q2 earnings looks like they're around 24 cents per share. And for everyone that doesn't know, this is also a real estate company which acquires, owns, manages, develops, and redevelops commercial properties in the market of major metropolitan areas. If everyone watching my uh, YouTube channel and that have been watching it for some time know that I love real estate investment trusts. They have to pay 90% of their earnings in dividends to their shareholders. So if you want a income producing portfolio, this would be the way to go. Next up is GLAD or Gladstone Capital. Right now it's at $6.80. I own 10 shares at $6.34 which gives me a total return of 7.34%. Not too bad. I also have a pending dividend for May 29th coming up of 65 cents. Now, I like this company. It's a great company. They've been having steady earnings per share of around 21 cents per share. And they are also a um, basically a real estate investment trust it is a business development company which invests in debt and equity securities consisting primarily of secured first and second liens term loans to lower middle market businesses. Next up is NRZ, new residential investment. Right now it's at $7.47. I have three shares at $5.85, which gives me a total return of 27 0.69%, which is just amazing. That is just amazing return for this small uh, sh uh, share price, stock price. They do pay a dividend right now of it looks like 2.8%. And they did beat their estimated earnings per share substantially, which is pretty awesome. And they are also a real estate investment trust. Next up is LADR or Ladder Capital. Right now you can get this company for $8. I was able to get one share at $7.49, which gives me a total return of 6.81% currently. They have a low PE ratio of just shy of 10, and they have a high dividend yield of 17. 
their Q2 earnings. It looks like they didn't quite meet their estimated earnings per share, but it looks like they are still in the positive. This is also a holding company which engages in the provision of commercial real estate finance services. Next up is AI or ARI, which is Apollo Commercial Real Estate Finance. Right now you can get this company for $8.54. I have one share at $8.07 for a total return of 5.82%. They have an extremely high P ratio right now of 71 and a dividend yield of 19. So this is just one of those companies you want to be a little bit cautious on. But for the price, I figured why the heck not. I did receive a dividend of 46 cents April 15th, 2019 before selling my shares for a small profit of about the same, about uh, 40 cents or so. This is also a real estate investment trust. Next up is Apple Hospitality REIT or ticker symbol APLE. Now many of you know what this company is. Right now their share price is at $9.64. I was able to get in at $9.58 for one share. For a total return of 0.63%, not 1%. Low PE ratio of 15, high dividend yield of 15, and they are still profitable, beating their estimated earnings per share of 17 cents. Next up is CHY or Calimus Convertible and High Yield Income Fund. Now this company I got in at $10.02 and right now I am up 4% on that company. A low P ratio of 8 and a dividend yield of 9.9. .9. Next up is GAIN or Gladstone Investment. Uh, right now you can get this company for $11.03. My average cost was $10.65. I have 10 shares and I have a total return of 3.56%. Have a pending dividend coming up for May 29th. And they have a nice dividend yield of around 7%. Next up is Umpkyoa for $11.59. I have one share at $11.03 and a total return of 5%. They also have a dividend yield of around 7.8% and they have positive earnings per share. Now if you guys noticed, a lot of these companies are in the positive earnings per share. I do not like to invest in companies that have negative earnings. Next company is Starward Property Trust. For $13.80 right now, I have five shares with an average cost of $11.77 and a total return of 17%. I've already made $10 on this one company. PE ratio is at a 10. Dividend yield is at a 14%. It is a bit high because their price is a little lower than normal. They do have a 100% buy rating and it looks like in the past it's gone all the way up to $26. Next up is AGNC or AGNC Investment. For $13.50 you can buy this company. I have one share at $12.18 for a total return of just shy of 11%. They have a dividend yield of right around 11%. 69% buy rating positive earnings per share and this company has also been up in the 19 20 dollar mark before. I also own Revolve Group or RVLV. Right now this company is at 1462 and I have one share at 1546 for a total return of negative five and a half percent. Next is Store Capital or ticker symbol STOR for $19.99. I was able to buy this company for $18.30. I have one share and I am up 9% on this. PE ratio of 14, 
with a dividend yield of 7.5%. Not too bad for this company. They pay dividends of 33 cents. Next up is IRM or Iron Mountain. You can get this company right now for $24.85. I have one share at $23.90 for a total return of just shy of 4%. They have a P.E. ratio of 23 and a dividend of 10%. Not too bad here. Positive earnings. Next company, this is the new company I bought, which was AT&T. Bought it recently this morning for $30.90 currently. I got it for $30.59, which gives me a 1% return in just a matter of one day. P.E. ratio of 15%. Uh, 15 and a dividend yield of just shy of 7%. Also, Main Street Capital or M A I N. Right now, you can get it for 32.14. I have one share for 26.99. I did buy this, um, I believe, a little while back, and I am up 19% on this one company with the pending dividend coming in. They currently have an 8% dividend yield. Next up is LTC Properties. At $36.98 currently, I got it one share for $33.17, and I am up 11.5% on this one company with a pending dividend coming in. They have an 11 PE ratio and a 6% dividend yield. Not too bad at all. Next company is PFE. Got this company for $37.67. I'm slightly down a half a percent point. They have a PE ratio of 13 and a dividend yield of 4%. Next would be Hartford Financial or HIG. Now, I did get this company for $36.98. I have one share, and I am up 4.5%. They have a P.E. ratio of 7.8 and a dividend yield of 3.5%. Next company is AN, or Auto Nation. I have one share at $34.81, and I am up 18% currently on this one share, which is pretty awesome. They have a P ratio of 28, and they don't currently have a dividend yield. Next company that I added to the portfolio is Micron Technology, or MU. Now, I have owned this in the past, but I recently added it this morning. I got a share at 46.22, and I'm down almost 1% on this account. They have a 22 PE ratio. Next up is Coca-Cola. I bought this company this morning too, so this is the third and final company that I added to the portfolio. At $46.10 you can buy it. I got it at $46.81. So I am down slightly 1.52%, but they have a nice P-E ratio of 19 and a strong dividend yield of 3.6%. Now I do like Coca-Cola. I've invested in it in the past, and it's just a great company all around. Next company is Realty Income, or ticker symbol O. Now I know this is a favorite among all the investors here in the community. I got this company at $48.93, and I'm currently up 13.5%. They have a 36 PE ratio and a 5.3% dividend yield. They have strong earnings per share, and they have strong, uh, strong Q2 earnings. Last but not least, I picked up a share of Intel, uh, I think a few days ago actually. They're at $62.34. I have one share at $62.75 for just shy of negative half point. Now they have a nice P.E. ratio of 12 and a dividend yield of 2%. I was able to pick this company up on May 20th actually to be more specific but I have bought and sold companies in the past of this, of this company. And guys, I hope you enjoyed. That's everything in my portfolio. 
and again i like doing videos like this they're really fun to do if you guys have any questions or comments on some of these stocks just leave a comment in the uh, comment section below reach out to me i'm also on facebook and instagram our facebook group has over 5,000 members investing for beginners on facebook i'm also on instagram and twitter twitter so feel free to reach out to me smash that like button if you haven't already and remember to share this with your friends and family you guys stay inside and stay safe